Hey, what's up, guys? Um, this is going to be a subject that uh, kind of gets a little sore with me. Uh, I hear people all the time in gun shops, you know, because every gun shop's got its gun shop Rambo, the guy who thinks his opinion is uh, the law. But that's not really what I'm going into. What I'm going to go into is um, people saying that this design is outdated. And pretty much, you tend to get that when anything was made back in the 70s. Which is pretty contra contradicting when you think about it because the same people will say a CZ-75 is outdated but yet um, Glocks were made in 1982 CZ-75 CZ made in 1975 seven years difference they'll say the CZ-75 is an outdated design but the Glock is still relevant and when they say outdated they're referring to the date they're not referring to which one's better for a particular reason. Just like the Beretta. The same guy, he's a smart dude. He knows his stuff when he's talking to you about it. Like, he knows almost the specifications on anything he wants to tell you about. And he's right about it, but because he likes to just tell you anyway, like, uh. But yet the same guy will, uh. He'll say the CZ-75 is outdated, this one gun shop. And I was just looking into him because I like the look of a CZ-75. But, um, anyway, he just told me his whole opinion on everything, but there's a lot of people that feel this way about a lot, and they'll throw their favorite guns in there as they're not outdated. Like, um, it's like saying the, nobody ever says the revolver's really outdated. Some people do, but nobody really listens to them because, you know, the revolver is just a good all-around gun, just like the 1911, you know, you may not like it, you may like a newer, high-capacity model, but capacity model but uh you can't really say it's outdated there's a reason why these guns have lasted so long it's because they're good and if a gun is good it's going to be it's going to be there for a hundred years just like the revolver in the 1911 you see on my table right there um but anyway the same dude tried to sell me a beretta tell me how good of a gun it is of course i knew about berettas and everything like that by then but you know, Beretta's older than both of those guns. It's, uh, I think, 1972 it was introduced. Been in the, our service since 1975. Why didn't he say that was outdated? You know, it's just, outdated is what people like to put on guns that they don't like or, you know, whatever reason they want to add it to it. But I get that a lot, and there's a reason why the revolver. If you don't like the 1911, you can't have much bad to say about a revolver. You can knock its capacity but it's like the AK. The sure reliability of it is just outstanding. The accuracy of it, outstanding. The um, triggers on them most of the time are great. I mean, everything's great about them except for capacity. And uh, you can get them in small to large. You know, they're, they have the largest pistol calibers in the world shot through revolvers, uh, 500 Smith & Wesson. You can use them to take down any kind of game. Um, 1911. I'm not going to go into that and start a whole argument, but I just love that gun. Um, but yeah, that's one of the things that just chaps me about some of the people at gun shops. You know, the, I hear gun shows everywhere on the internet about how uh, this gun's outdated. It just, it's just stupid. There's a reason why the 1911's been around 100 years. Served in, let's see, one, two every bit of four wars is a major is a major sidearm now there is still special units that use this today but yeah alright guys thanks